Eight, seven, four. Kay Thornton can see now after being blind for nearly nine years. When doctors at Baskin Palmer Eye Institute in Miami first explained they would use part of her eye tooth to restore her sight. Did they say a tooth? <laughs> Unheard of in this country, Kay's from Smithdale, Mississippi. Of course, you tell people back home, and they're like us, do what? They're going to put it where? <laughs> you know. It worked, and Baskin Palmer held a news conference to spread the word. It is indeed the first time in the U.S. for this surgical procedure, done in three steps over several months. Kay's cornea was like this, severely dry and scarred, not a candidate for corneal transplant. It's like trying to grow a rose on a desert. So um, the tooth provides a microenvironment. It's like moving the mouth to the eye. All that wetness and nice microenvironment of the mouth, we kind of like simulated in the eye. First, the tooth and some jawbone are removed, then shaved and sculpted. In the tooth, there's a tiny hole where we put a plastic uh, acrylic cylinder that has a power that will allow the patient to see through. The lens and tooth have to form a bond, so they are implanted under the patient's cheek or chest for a while. Then the badly damaged corneal tissue is removed and replaced with a piece of moist mouth tissue. A few months later, the tooth and cylinder are placed in the eye. Labor Day weekend, her bandages were removed. I saw my male nurse. He was right at the end of my bed. And I said, I see you. It's wonderful. The colors are more vivid than they were that I can remember them being.